Let me just send this. We are going live right now with this guy right here because I know how much you guys oh, missed oh, him. Wow. What's going on, everybody? Oh, hold on. VNH. VNH is playing his ad right now. Okay, there you go. Swipe up. <laughs> Swipe up to watch the live stream. This guy with there the swipe up feature. I'm not worthy. I'm totally not worthy. <laughs> yes. Swipe up. Hey, guys, if you are catching this show after it's been produced or after it's been shown after the live, I'm going to go ahead and put show notes down in the description or in the comment section below so you can figure out what in the world we talked about and what we covered this evening. But, uh, but yeah, again, show notes will be posted after the show's over in the comments and description below. Thanks again for joining us this evening. All right. <laughs> Jay Sam, what's up, man? First one on the boat here. Mitch, what's up, man? Scott's review. Tag the shooter. Yes, I am back. We are back as it is. Kyle and Shetta, fourth question mark. Benny Lee, what's going on, man? Oh, oh boy. Today's going to be very interesting. <laughs> Chris saying, loving my Sony A7 Mark III. You know, I was trying to squeeze in some more shooting today. I was, it was, I don't know, is it raining out there in, in the LA area, Jason? How's it yeah, going there weather-wise? Just windy. Weather -wise? Just windy. Yeah. I was at work. It was just pouring. It started to pour really badly. And then um, we had a softball game today, and I wanted to go shoot. So I left, drove, and by the time I got to the location for the softball game, the, the weather kind of just kind of got better. The kind of sky cleared up a little bit. So I took the a7 III. I nearly was going to do a weather sealing test on the a7 III today. I was getting a little worried. <laughs> so I was going to shoot out in the rain, but uh, I'm just glad it, it wasn't raining and pouring while we're doing that. It, was, uh, it, it started to rain a little bit in Mexico, like drizzling, but oh, okay. uh, yeah, a7 III survived out there. So, Oh, <laughs> so it's had some, uh, Unintentional weather sealing test, but yeah, it it it, it handled it. Champ, what a champ! Well, I'll get into a little bit more with the with the A7 III because I just want to get your opinion on like the feel and the handling of it because you have the A7R3 compared to it. But um, we can talk yeah. a little bit more about that. It just feels it feels a little different, but per you know the same. You know that's the that's the vibe I get from it. But feels a little different, you say, huh? I think it's just the buttons, the, the, the dial so it feels a little chintzier, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, Jay San says, you guys have been gone forever. As a duo, yes, it's been a while. It actually has. Yeah. As a duo here, it's been some time. Two um, weeks. Two two live shows. It's been it two been live two? shows ago. So, so, so yeah, it's been like again. three. So it's been like three then. It's, it's been three weeks. Yeah, uh, rumors, rumors are starting to pop up. Oh, <laughs> that we already went. We went our separate ways. Yeah, oh, that, we we have to, we're not supposed to. We're not supposed to talk about that. Maybe later. Okay. We'll just, uh, oh we'll shoot. Cover. Okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Tag the Shooter says loving the strength of not having to buy the A7 III. Yeah, you don't need it, man. You've already got you got A9 and A7R3. Don't even worry about it. Who said that? Who said that? What, tag the shooter. <laughs> tag the shooter. Who are you kidding, man? Just get the damn camera. You know you need the A7 III. <laughs> Affiliate links down below. Check it out. <laughs> oh, that, that is true. That is true. There's... Uh, Chris says he's on the fence for the 100 to 400 or the 200 to 8. Can't decide what I want more. Chris, I have the 100 to 400. You must get this lens and the 70 to 200, Chris. Oh, you must get both. Shoot. I just I snapped some softball picks today and it is just like crispy, very very crispy. Damn. Focus, focus spot on. Oh God, I gotta wait to talk about that a little later, but oh yeah, very very pleased with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Benny says just dunk it in water. Oh my gosh, that'd be <laughs> that'd be really bad. Froggy first is in the house reporting in. Froggy dude, what is going on, man? Scott's uh, not a A7 III Capture One RAW files not updated yet. What the heck? That's weird. Yeah, that's the strangest thing. I, I think I was in Mexico when Lightroom updated theirs, but but Capture One still didn't have an update for the A7 III. That's the strangest thing. 
Yeah, I, I, I thought for a second that when I had shot Raw, I, I shot Raw maybe like a few days back, like, for, like when I first got the A7 III, I said, crap, I'm not going to be able to look at the files. I'll have to use Capture One. But then I was like, Lightroom already had the update. So I was pretty happy about that. But oh, yeah. so Capture One's lagging big time on this? That's weird. That's, yeah, it is. It is weird. Kind of weird. Like it should have had it when the UK folks already yeah. got their A7 III. So. That's weird. <laughs> Strange indeed. Uh, let's see. Tagger Shooter's asking, so please tell us, Danny, is that uh, A7 Mark III autofocus better than the A9? Everyone who doesn't have it says it is. <laughs> You're going to have to wait a little bit longer when we talk about it in the show. I'll give you just my perspective on it. Um, but I, I still need to test it out. Jay San says, yeah, once Jason becomes Sony Artisan, will Danny become Judas? Like, what's that? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> going there he is, but we'll talk about on. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Scott's review is like, hey, what if you plug in the micro USB and the USB type C at the same time? What happens? Uh, the camera will explode, but it, it it starts cooking things, right? Like it just cooks, cooks stuff. <laughs> you know, it's just too much input going. No, I don't actually, I don't know. I never tried. Okay. Right now my A7R3 has the USB type C plugged in for charging. Do I have like, I don't think anything happens. I think one something happened. I don't know. I don't want to try it right now. It'd be really bad. Yeah. Once he plugs it in, we'll lose the feed and it'll just be a voice voice podcast only. Oh yeah, that's all we need is just voice podcasts. <laughs> be perfect. No, people like to watch us for some reason. We don't even show anything on the screen. You know, they that's... watch us on a they watch us on a sixty five inch big giant yeah. massive screen, right? And they're like, oh man. I, I feel like we I feel like we gotta like start incorporating some sort of slideshow for these types of live shows that we do. There's there's the other uh, live streaming one. It's not it's it's not. OBS, there's another one that will mm. allow us to do a little bit more. I forgot it's a paid one, but mm -hmm. I was like, I could I could just get in do a church charge it as a paid business expense, I, I would imagine, for the channel. Yeah. So I don't know, just a thought. Um let's see here. Uh Chris Ortiz asking night and day when it comes to the tech and low light compared to my old A7 Mark II. Also got the Miki vertical grip in today, made for the A9, but fits the A7R3 if anyone wants to know. Perfect. Yeah. I've got the I've got the battery grip on here. This is the uh, the OEM one from Sony. So it's but as far as the third party one, I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Sexy. <laughs> All right. Um, so we got a few more minutes till we start the show. Jay Sands asking, I have the twenty four to seventy f two point eight G Master Lucky and the eighty five one eight. Which seventy two hundred should I get the two eight or the F four? I'm so confused. Jason, if you just have the cash to drop, go for the two eight. Go for the two eight. Just go for the two eight. Because it'd be I weird if you have a two point eight, a one point eight, and then all of a sudden an F four and a wider. Eh, I mean, it is, it is, it is sharp though. That four is sharp. So because because the thing is, once you get the F two point eight, it's done. You you call it a day. You don't need the F four. If you get the F four, you're always going to be like, well, what was the two point eight like? Yeah. Um. So if you have the budget for it and you're just kind of in the neighborhood for it, then I would just get the two eight. Yeah. I still have both for weird reasons. So <laughs> yeah, let's see here. A7S three, holy smokes. Am I gonna have to get that one too? My God. Benny Lee says, I already have the Alpha 6500 and I think he's waiting for the A7S three. I wonder how many people are waiting for the A7S three. People are going to keep on waiting. It's got to have four. I'm not even going to touch this A7S3 if it doesn't have 4K 60p. Like, that's that that's the bottom line in terms of just that camera in general. So, yeah, seriously, at this point, if it doesn't have 4K 60, it's going to be hard to stomach because yeah. the A7 III, damn, that low light, though, it's just, it's insane. Dude, I, yes, it is. I'll, we'll talk a little bit about some low light stuff. I was very impressed with some of the images I got. Um, Let's see. Hey, folks, again, we're going to start the live show in a little bit soon, about five more minutes. So just hang tight. We're just uh, on the chat right now. So if you have any questions, just drop them in. We'll see if we can answer them right away. Yes. Uh... <laughs> Tag the shooter. Danny doesn't have enough bandwidth to do any slideshows. 
<laughs> yes. Tag, you are you are absolutely right. I do not have the bandwidth. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see. Riddell Photo, what's going on, man? Um, Jason Vaughn, he's asking, do you still have the 16? Are you still using your 16 to 35 G Master? I don't own a 16 to 35 G Master. I got it on rental. Mm -hmm. So maybe, uh, maybe uh, I'm saying maybe in a couple of weeks, you might see an unboxing video for it. Oh, oh my. Maybe, <laughs> just, just maybe. Fantastic lens, man. Uh, sharp as heck. All right, let's see. Lucky Never is asking, did you guys check out Maddie's review on the A7 Mark III? It's focus hunting like crazy. Um, I hmm. didn't see it, but honestly, it's probably because one of his focus settings are off. I, I haven't noticed any major issues so far. But well, again, we'll talk a little more about when we get into the show more. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Adam Media sold his A7 R2. And got the A7 III, but it's got to wait for it to come back in stock at B&H. Dude, the stocks, the waiting the waiting times are long, some times away, man. It's like a couple weeks out. So this oh, A7 III, yeah. hot. We potato told you guys, right you guys got to get it on the minute, on the dot. If you guys want it <laughs> at your doorstep, here's the thing that made me mad. I paid, I paid an extra fifty dollars for overnight shipping, and I wasn't even yeah. going to get it. So. Are you serious? Oh yeah, you. I was at NAB, I man. That, so did, I, yeah. When you when you were gone, did you just get the loaner then, right? At, in Mexico. Yeah, I got a loaner in Mexico, so okay. I got that, which is great. It it helped me out a lot because then I have a lot more material for my A7 III review, so I'm very excited for that. But when terms of like you just paid the extra, you didn't even get it. You were. I know it's just. <laughs> ah. It was like, hey, it's gonna arrive on launch day, April 10th, 3 p.m., and I was like. Ah, I'm, just, I'm not even home. <laughs> should have had it wired to the Luxor. Oh man, you should have said this. Uh, B and H photo loves you, man. It's like for the amount of uh, money you make them, they should have they should have kind of navigated it out to the Luxor. <laughs> should have just done that. Benny Lee, 10 bit video versus 60p. Are you talking about the A7S3? Do you want 10 bit video versus having 4K 60p? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I think 60p is more important to me. I think that's how I would look at it. 4K 60, and then use Atomos Ninja Five. Ooh, for uh, 10 bit 422. So there you go. There's your answer right there. They were kind of hinting at that that they have that flexibility. So it sounds like A7S Three might be in that mm -hmm. territory. Hope so. <laughs> Uh, Darren Patterson's asking, what do you think about the 20, the, uh, I'm assuming the 28 to 70 kit lens that comes with the a7 III? I bought one just on its own. It's not very good. I, unless my mod, unless my version of it was just messed up, but the one that I have, it's like, it's kind of decenter. Like it's not sharp across. So that's just my, like I said, I could just have a really bad copy. I mean, it is a kit lens. And for a kit lens for an extra two hundred dollars with the package, it's not bad. It's not bad. You can do a lot of stuff with it. It's just if you want the sharpest lens, obviously that's not going to be it. So yeah. if it's something to tie you over until you pick up a nice lens, then go for it. Get it. That that's some wise wisdom right there. Yes, if if you're just trying to get by, I think it's per, it's fine. Yeah, if you're just trying to get by for now, it's a good place to start. David Osler is in the house. David, David Osler not doing his live right now. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh let's see uh lucky never sure. lucky never is asking should we shoot 4k 24 fps or 30 fps for youtube some people say 30 fps is better on youtube because youtube always outputs 30 and not 24 jason how do you export do you do 24 i do 24 straight up 24 yeah i do 24 no, no, no issues here yeah i mean no issues here Sometimes mine looks like potato. I mean, it could be the reason why. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, they're asking because if you order the kit, you'll get it sooner. So it's kind of like you get the kit. I mean, if you buy the kit, you could sell the kit ones for like 150. You might lose a little, you know, just yeah. a thought. Yeah. All right. Uh, we are on the verge of starting the show very, very soon. Um, I'll we'll just start it now. Hey guys, welcome back to Monday Live. Jason Vong and I are back. We're the back. Rumors, the We're rumors back. are 
The rumors are sort of speculating that we're going our separate ways. We are not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's just start some internal drama. Anyway, so um, peace out, yeah. Danny. <laughs> Very glad to have Jason ba uh, Vaughn back on the show here on our Monday Live. We are back again talking about the Sony A7 Mark III user experience. Obviously, Jason had a little more time with the camera, uh, and I've had just shy of about six days or so with the A7 Mark III. We're going to share our experiences a little later today in the show. If you're just catching us right now, there's going to be show notes posted in the description and comments below. So please make sure to navigate down there if you want to find out when we start talking about the A7 mark three and again thank you everyone who's joining us this evening i definitely miss being on the show it's been it's been some time so jason vong how are you doing man what's up good man it's just been like a couple of weeks of traveling finally got back napping everywhere trying to get 10 hours of sleep because every day just out in the feud five hours a day in the beating hot sun whether it be in mexico or vegas it's just very draining but shot a lot of amazing content so it's just Rest of the month, just trying to crank those content out for you guys. So, yeah. So he just needs to get to editing and chopping and all the J cuts and whatever cuts he's got to do in his editing oh, software. I, don't ever do J -cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I should yeah. though. But yeah, definitely, definitely. The question is, do you are you are you using Final Cut again, or are you between Premiere and Final Cut and whatever works best for you? Oh, back oh, to never. Premiere Pro, baby. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I. I it's the reason why I got this laptop because I got to use Premiere. I'm, I'm going to convince Jason today to sell his, to give back his razor. I'm going to convince him today somehow. I'm going to do it. I'm going to find a way to do it. Okay. Okay. So, All right. <laughs> I'm interested. Let it, let it, right. let, let, let it down. Hey, as you know, we let are going to be jumping into our new gear segment right now that all of you sort of get into because we all have gas, G A S. We spend and buy stuff. And this time I've spent quite a bit on just some stuff. Um, so if you have any new gear you've picked up this week, last week, or you never had a chance to mention in the last couple of weeks, please let us know with hashtag new gear. We'd love to know what you guys recently picked up and how much your wallet's hurting. Maybe you finally got to spend your tax return money. What did you pick up? And uh, let us know what that is in the comments or the live chat right now. So Jason, we're going to go ahead and start with you. Jason, the man of the hour, GAS, what have you recently picked up? Sony A7 III finally arrived in the mailbox. I mean, what's the surprise here? Am I right? Boom, oh. new camera. Uh, very happy with it. We're definitely going to be talking a lot about it in just a bit. But, oh, man, what else did I get? You probably just don't remember at this point, right? Just some small. I, I mean, I was here. gone for two weeks, you know? It's like it's hard to, do, <laughs> it's hard to keep up. I mean, like, I don't know if I actually, if I ever talked about having getting the small HD on a show. Did I talk about this already? Uh, you kind of mentioned that you got it, but you've gotten some more time with it then? Yeah, I got in some more time with it. I, what, I, I think like B&H was running a sale for one of these, right? Like $3.99? It ended up being like $100 off? Heck no. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I, okay, because I bought two. I bought one from Amazon, and then like a week later, B&H had a sale for $3.99. So I ordered from B&H, and then I had to return mine, for, mine to Amazon so I can save that $100. But I think the oh, reason why, man. yeah, the reason that's, why I did a promo a for deal. it, yeah, it's a pretty damn good deal. And I'm, not, I, I think I might just return it too, just because like Atomos <laughs> Ninja Five is coming out, so I'm kind of mad about oh, that. Yeah. Like I'm just like, I don't need two monitors, I just need one. But did, did you get a chance? Sorry, sorry, did you get a chance to yeah. touch to mess with the the uh, the Thomas one? No, you know what? It's it's behind the glass. I mean, I got to touch it. I went to like a little Atomos little dinner thing. I got to touch it, but they, they didn't have it hooked up to any camera. So I wasn't able to play with the, the monitor itself or try out ProRes Raw. But um, it's it's light. It's small. It's, Does it um, kind of remind you about the small HD, but recording capabilities built in? Is that kind of what it reminds you of? Yeah, definitely. So it's not that it's not that much heavier than the uh, small HD focus. Um, they use a smaller SSD. Um, you have an option to use your regular size SSD if you guys are familiar with the caddies that they use. Um, same Sony NPF battery. So I think um, it's going to be slightly a little heavier than the small HD focus. But for the most part, it's the monitor itself is fairly, fairly light and it's sexy. It's beautiful. Um, the only thing that I'm really going to miss about if, if I 
sell this monitor and get that one is definitely the out bracket. So I kind of wish um, Atomos would include something like this for their monitor. That would be that would be pretty dope. That's ex that's exactly it. Uh, yeah. That was the one thing I was thinking about. I said, man, this thing is awesome. Um, but if it only had a swivel, I, I feel like small rig could make something like that. Like, yeah, they could or whoever. But um, dude. even F even Fuel World, this other like, you know, Chinese company that makes these little monitors, they even adopted one of these. It's not as good. It's not as robust as the small HD one, but it's there. So this little swivel thing, I'm just, I'm just like, oh, it's just so helpful. I shot one wedding with it, and I was like, my God, this, this thing is insanely helpful. But you right? were right, Danny. But you were right, though. In indirect sunlight, it is not that bright. I still uh -huh. have to unplug this monitor and look through my viewfinder. So that is a definite downfall. It's not as bright as they claim or, or, or advertise. You need some sort of sun hood which I end up did getting. I didn't try it out yet, but it's not as bright. Uh, 800 nits, right? 800 nits? The no, 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 it's 500. This is this one's only 500 nits. This is 500 only? Yes. No way, their, what? Their, their, other, their other higher end models goes like 800. Okay, well, that's disappointing. The the yeah. the Ninja 5 is going to be 1,000 from what I from what I remember. So I think I think that thing is going to get got it beat in terms of uh, in terms of a brightness. No, absolutely, man. That's um, well, like I said, I felt that small HD. If they could build a, like a built-in recorder with the same kind of framing, that'd be really great. But it looks like Atomo's kind of picked up on that situation, and yeah. they're trying to capitalize on it. So definitely interested yeah. to see how that thing pans out. Oh yeah, um, I, I sold my Ninja Flame already, so mm -hmm. I I have the money for the Ninja Five, and the Ninja Five is six hundred ninety-five bucks. That that's not bad at all for what it's able to do, except for what it is exactly. I'm just curious on the pricing for the um, the pricing for the SSDs because you're you're gonna have to buy their their sized uh, their smaller SSD format. You don't have to. You can just recycle oh. the ones that you have already. It would just what? stick out of the monitor. Yeah, from what oh, they told me, like shoot. you can you can still you from what I remember, they say you can still use your regular size SSD. It would yeah. just protrude out of the monitor. That's pretty much it. But yeah, oh. if you want to keep the form factor like fleshed. Yes, you need to spend an extra dough for the proprietary S, not proprietary SSD, but the smaller size SSD. Dude, that's that's awesome. I was actually really worried when they mentioned that. I said, you know, it's great for the size, but if you're gonna have to go ahead and get like a, a buy their own proprietary uh, SSD, but I'm just glad that's that's a really smart move. Very smart mm -hmm. move. All yeah, right, definitely. All right, moving on, folks. Again, if you we are on hashtag new gear. Uh, let us know what you picked up. I'm going to go ahead and jump onto my end here. So I went ahead and pre-ordered a new laptop. So uh, oh, I, told, I, told, I told Jason when he got his Razer Blade laptop that we were on the verge of six core, basically hexa-core CPUs. They were on the verge of coming out already. And I don't know if, I don't know if <clears throat> Jason can still return his, his Razer laptop. <laughs> Um, so these six core laptops are coming out already. We got a new Dell XPS 15 with the six core processor. We've got MSI, we've got uh, Gigabyte, which is this Aero 15 X I'm gonna talk about. Um, but they're coming out very soon. I'm sure the new MacBook potentially is gonna have six core processor as well. Um, but anyway, so I went ahead and picked up this Gigabyte Aero 15 X. It is basically the highlight of this laptop. It just focuses on this. It has six core CPU, basically 12 threads. It has a GTX 1070 Max-Q. So Max-Q just basically means it's a 1070, about 10% slower than the actual 1070 in a desktop. And what's crazy is that this laptop weighs the same as the Dell XPS 15. So people are thinking, oh man, this is a gaming laptop, for example. It's actually going to be about the same weight as the Dell XPS 15 that already exists. Uh, and uh, what's really cool, they have plenty of ports. They got Thunderbolt on there. They got USB 3.1, they've got HDMI, all these bells and whistles. And guess what? They also have a UHS-2 SD card slot inside of this laptop. So it's designed Ooh. for UHS-2. It also has an SSD space inside of the inside of the laptop. It houses an SSD space and it houses two additional M.2 M.2 slots. So you effectively have three storage spaces you can pile it in with a two terabyte, two terabyte, two terabyte, and you're all stacked. They also include 16 gigabytes of a single RAM stick. 
and you can buy your own 16 gigabyte RAM stick and make it 32. So they thought about this from, from beginning to end and battery life is about seven to nine hours on general use. They packed in a full size battery into this. Now there's gonna be two variants, a 4K and also a 144 Hertz version 1080p. The 4K won't come out till May, the end of May. So I went ahead and just picked up the 1080p version um, because I figured it's gonna save more battery life. And I have a 4K monitor already, but um, but yeah, that's the laptop. It's, it's insane. And it's basically focused towards content creators at this point, so. That's crazy. What, what, how much did you say it was again? 2299. Damn. 2299. It's not bad. And I think three, I, I think I ended I think up paying like nineteen hundred for my for my razor. But I think it has like two or three year warranty from Gigabyte. I, as far as like whether or not it's going to be good or not, that's a different story. But in terms of just what they packed into this laptop, hey, by the way, there is a uh, you can check the link in the description. There is a link there if you'd like to go check it out. Although it's Ooh, sold out, snaps. It, you can check it out to see what it's about. But it's uh, it's pretty much sold out right now. Um, but yeah, that is the. Gigabyte Aero 15x version eight. So this, this this is why we're 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 split in our ways because every time I hang out with Danny, <laughs> dude, I spend money. That's the problem. I I hang out with this guy too much. I go to I go to I go to Vegas. WPPI he has a, he has a freaking Alienware, and I was just like, man, this is awesome, man. One week later, bought a Razer laptop. Now he's subscribing the Aero 15x, and I'm like, damn, <laughs> should have waited. Now I got to get one. Dude, I like I said, folks, description, check it. I posted a link in there if you want to go check it out. Uh, it is affiliate, I guess. So just to, just out of disclaimer, I'm just gonna go post it in the in the chat just to make sure. But anyway, yeah, it is it is bananas. The the laptops are coming out. I'm sure better ones. There's actually another generation of GPUs that are coming out too. So if you wait a little bit longer, you'll get the six core plus the new generations uh, GPUs. Uh, in a, maybe a few months or so, three to six months from now. So i um, very excited to try it out. Going to definitely try and do a review on it as far as content creation goes. I don't really game like PC game. So I'm just going to focus on like video editing, After Effects, and and Lightroom and see how well that does. Cool. Uh, awesome. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to kind of steam through this. I also picked up the – so I had the small HD Focus. Small rig actually sells this like housing that goes with it and also a hood. It comes with it. I purchased that. I don't have it in yet, but it should come in like Wednesday. So I'll take a look at that and talk a little bit more about it. I said I was going to get a QNAP Thunderbolt version, but I ended up just picking up a Drobo 5C just to save some money because I just needed a place to store more data because I just had a lot of files to store and kind of kind of figured that all out. So I just went ahead and picked up a Drobo 5C. And I've never, I personally have never had any issues with my Drobos. So, but I hear Mac. Mac usually has some problems with with Drobos, but uh, but yeah, not me on my end. So cool, very awesome. Yeah, damn. All right, that is some dough, dude. That is some dough. You dropped some dough, dude. Yeah. Woo. All right. All right. Let's see what they got to say in the chat. Let's uh, read out some new gear, Danny. All right, we're starting off with Dustin Dilworth, new gear A7 Mark III, but APS-C isn't dead still. <laughs> <laughs> It is sad. It also got the 28F2 and the Edicron slider. I mean, NAB was a time for Sony to drop a 6700, but no, we're going to wait a little bit longer on that, maybe in December. But anyway. Hey, Dustin, I don't know. I don't know if you want to return to Edicron, but I was, I, I've been having issues with mine, or not mine, but my partner's Bluetooth it hardly connects now. And it's just oh. been very, very disappointing. So, um, Rhino has a slider, a pretty, a, a pretty relatively small slider. Maybe you want to check that out. But. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Oh, I didn't buy it. Okay, I have no experience with Rhino yet, but they have made some pretty damn good sliders in, in, in the past. I think like Philip Bloom endorses it. But they 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 hunt me down at NAB, showed me off a, a really cool slider. So, um, I'm having them send me one so I can check it out. But yeah, my outer chrome experience with the slider one has not been good. I mean, like it was great when we first got it, but over time it just, I don't know. All right, Rodella Photo, new gear, Spider Dual Holster version two. Nice. I'm not sure how that looks like in my mind, like a visual aid. Is it kind of like this kind of crosses over and hangs from this the side? Is, this is why we need a slideshow. Get, get better. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm trying, man. Relax. Maybe the summer. All right. 
Damon Hart, 90 millimeter macro, 85 1.8, and order of an A7 Mark III is back ordered till Friday, but he is going to get 100 credit though. So, but it sucks you got to wait. Should have asked for $300, man. That's $100 <laughs> at wait next week. That's not worth it. Nah, just... <laughs> uh, Pilar Lopez, new gear Sony A7 III with free battery. Nice. Lucky. What? Lucky. That's great. Raphael. That's great Raphael got an A7 III. A lot of people get an A7 III. Yes. That's what we like to hear. All right, Jason, you ready to catch some? Yeah, I'll catch some. Uh, Taka, new gear, A7 III plus Julian Plus. I'll let y'all know how the wallet is doing once I have the stones to look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Don't just just shoot some dope, fo- uh, dope footage. You won't, you, won't even, you won't even look at your wallet. Jason, uh, Jason. A7, J- A7 III with screen protector. Sorry, Jason, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, screen protector for Sony with a poster size instruction for a screen protector in 40 languages for a for a screen. Yeah, I need to get one too. Patrick oh, yeah. New Gear, GoPro Hero 6. Oh no. GoPro Hero 6. Didn't I think I heard I heard rumors that uh Xiaomi phone company bought out GoPro GoPro, right? Oh, what the I that's the first time I'm hearing that from me. Is that are you breaking ground? Is that bre- you're breaking? Oh, I don't ground? know then. Maybe it's just a rumor. Maybe it's just a rumor. I heard GoPro got bought, so hey. <laughs> Someone fact check me on this, okay? I have there's some fake news going on. We don't want some <laughs> fake news floating around the Monday live. Here. <laughs> oh All right. yeah, nice. All right, uh, Pat. Uh, so John Louis Imperial, new gear, Hume Hume H six forty P pen tablet to try for retouching. I, I nice. <laughs> Jin Wu A7 III, perfect match for the A7R3. I don't even care which camera I grab for both photo video because both are gonna be great. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. There we go. go. Yeah. There we go. The 13 dilemma, new gear Sony uh Sony 55 1.8, very, very, very sharp lens. A7 Mark III. Nice. You made very you nice. made a wise choice. Uh, <laughs> a photo adventure. Jason is the gas master. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pass that title to Danny now. Oh, wh- this whoa, guy right here. whoa! This guy right imagine, here. Imagine, dude. imagine just the shirt says "Gas Master" and everyone behind you is walking away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Eli says new gear LG ultra wide 25 inch monitor USB C adapters dongles for the 2017 MacBook Pro. Very nice. Oh, I hope you didn't just get the twin. Okay, because <laughs> there's gonna be a refresh. Joe Demonia new gear A7 Mark III Sigma MC11. And tonight I bought the Sony FE 1.885 and sold the 18 to 35. Makes perfect Ooh. sense. Really good. Okay. All right. All right. Gerard Williams, new gear. Got my A7 III on 4.6 and got Makey Grip for it. Loving it all. Very nice. H Zone, new gear. Welcome back, guys. I got the A7 III, the Bodice 25, and this may be my perfect combo. Oh, snaps. It is. It is a damn good combo. Jake, Kim, still waiting for my A7 III. Another three to five weeks to go. Oh. Woo! But... Got the FE24 to 105.4. Man, I feel the pain, man. I just, I just, I felt it right there when I read it out loud. I was just like, oh, I had that weight though. But my, but my <laughs> question is, my question is, is this, do you have only the 24105 and no camera for three to five weeks? Oh, that's the worst. That, that's, that is, that is a worse case. Yeah. That is not going to be good. Um, Capturing Media, New Gear A7 Mark III, the 85 bodice, and saying much less chromatic aberration over the 85 1.8 FE. Well, you are paying a premium for that, so. Felix Figueroa, new gear, paper the A7 3 Sony multi battery adapter kit and some Sony memory cards. Oh, oh. Awesome. Scott, Scott's review, new gear A7 Mark III, 16 to 35, 8518. Take it to kids' soccer game over the weekend with the 7200 F4. Awesome camera, but my Alpha 6500 for video seems smoother. Still playing with settings. David Osler, Eldercron has some great monitor mount. I'm going to check that out. Um, oh, gosh. Let's see here. People's talking about my gas level increasing because Danny's driving <laughs> his laptop. It is. Oh. Danny, oh, let's, see. let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. What's going on here? Damn it, guys. Uh, so let's let's whatever we talked about in the last live show whatever happens in vegas stays in vegas guys <laughs> all right i see a new gear david simmons you gear like danny i ordered a new laptop the hp specters x360 15 2-in-1 4k 
just arrived today, was released last Thursday. This thing's wonderful on it right now, watching you guys. Nice. Thanks, David. Watch this in 4K. Oh, the I, quality right here. I know, right? You can't even, we can't even, I can't even do 4K. I can't even do 720p normally, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Let's see, see here. Um, Oh, Damon Hart says my video looks good today. Is that right? Ooh, that's, oh, that's you impossible. Because you haven't streamed for two weeks or one week. That is true. That is it, true. That I, which I, kind I, of, yeah. It builds up and it just, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we just we just ruined it. It's going to go potato right now. <laughs> Dustin Dilworth, sorry to hear that. My autocrats are working flawlessly, but the Rhino one looks compelling. Just seems maybe shaky, maybe. that you felt it was a little weak with the Rhino? I'm not sure, but I'm going to test it out and let you guys know. But yeah, no, the Autocron works great when, when we first got it. It's just after a while, like connecting to the Bluetooth just got so annoying. Like it just wouldn't connect for some reason. So could be our phone issues, but I we I use an iPhone. My partner used an Android. Both had issues with it. So there you go. Uh, NCJ Digital. I just picked up the 24105 and Rotolite Neo 2. Very nice. Premier reviewer, what is going on, man? Sony A7 III, and so much more. Everyone's getting an eight. We should do like a poll, like do a live poll and see how many people got the A7 Mark III. It's like everybody. Oh, yes. Everybody here. Are, are you okay? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If you got the Sony A7 III, give this video a like. What? Now they're going to oh. dislike it, Jason. Oh. You, you, it doesn't work that way, man. <laughs> it doesn't if work you that way. you don't have one. Give, Just relax. Do, <laughs> if it doesn't have one, we'll do what Zed Pro says. Give it two thumbs down. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Well, when you give it two thumbs down, it becomes nothing. It's like neutral. Oh, right? oh that's smart. I never realized that. Oh, man, my <laughs> mind is so blown. It's like it's like they they show, they show up with two accounts, Jason. Like they they log into their other account. Okay, two dislikes. We're gonna we're gonna give them two dislikes oh, yeah. <laughs> on the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you okay? Says you picked up the Samsung T5 SSD. Jason, you've got one of those, man. How are you? Are you using it much? Or like, how's that going for you? Or you got some? Yeah, I yet? used I used it in Mexico. I love the thing. I just need to find some way. Well, I don't need to find some way. I just need to do what like like the other content creators have been doing, like Casey Neistat, just Velcro it to my computer. Because sometimes when I'm just sitting in a bed where I can't like sit at a desk to do any work i always disconnect my ssd because the cable is too long so i need a shorter cable i need to velcro it to my laptop so that's the, oh, that's yeah the, uh, it's yeah it's I, frustrating I, I, I did that with my an older laptop of mine um i think i draw uh, the the hard drive fell no no i the, my i had a hard drive fall to the ground and the the port on on the side of it broke which is really frustrating. So then I then I then I velcroed my my hard drive to the back of the screen. Yeah. Um, yeah. It might not be a bad idea. It's just no, yeah. gonna kind of aesthetic wise, it's gonna look a little iffy. Oh well. Oh well. This <laughs> this razor laptop is for keeps. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh oh. Uh, that. Jason, get rid of it. Um, <laughs> Alex Sandoval. What is up, everyone? What's going on, man? Thanks for joining us. Damon Hart says Jason Vong is SR6, apparently. SR he's moving no, up no, to SR6. No, 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 I'm not SR6. There's someone else that's SR6. <laughs> no, I no, no, he's on no. SR7, I think. Uh, the good friend on the show here. He's uh... <laughs> our, our good friend, our good SR6 friend. Where are you at? <laughs> What's the news? What's the latest news? We gotta know. Joshua Carino, new gear 5D Mark IV with 2470 f two. What are you doing here, Josh? <laughs> Get out of here. Nice. No, nah, man. Just I still miss that 5D Mark IV, man. It's all good, man. I think Casey Neistat went back to Canon. I, I see him using Canon now. Yeah, 60. He went to 60 Mark II. Man, Canon must be a lot of pain. I'm big oh, no, I'm not going to see that. Anyway. <laughs> all right, here we go. We got some We got some people uh, confirming. Uh, Nick Nevax says, a Xiaomi rumor has been bumping up GoPro stock price lately, but no deal announced yet. Froggy First says, GoPro Chinese electronic company Xiaomi is considering an offer to buy action cam makers GoPro, according to a report in the information. Okay, so it's in consideration. Got it. So it's, it's it. potentially, it might happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tag the Shooter says, you got the new Godox X-Pro trigger because mine just crashed. To gr oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. His trigger Ouch. broke. Yeah. It happens, man. What happens? All right. All right. I think we gotta, we, we're going to move on soon. But uh, I know it's been oh. a while, so let's see. 
Awesome. I'm hearing A73 is getting backward. I'm so sorry. Um, it, it happens. It happens. All right. So, Jason, I don't know. Do you have the boom arm for your road NT USB? Do you have the boom? Hold, the boom hold on, Dan. We got a we got a super chat donation. Oh. We got to take care of. Oh shoot! What the heck? I didn't see that. Let me check this out real quick. Kwaku Kwaku, I'm butchering it. Amo, Amalbin, Amobin. How do you deal with thirty minute record limit for recording long events with the A seven R three and the A seven three? Kwaku, I'm going to give you a story. Uh, I just shot a school play with my students. We were using an A nine. A7R3, an Alpha 6500, an Alpha 6300. We were decked out with Sony stuff, right? We we're shooting this thing like multi cam. Um, I just, we, we just, I, right now I just stopped the recording and started again, right now. Unless you have like a, a Tomos recorder, Jason, right? If you have like yeah. an Atomos recorder, that's the only way right now you can bypass that 30 minute record limit because <laughs> Sony didn't want to put Play Memories app on the camera. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now, Quack, unfortunately. So, yeah. so there, there are- much, Yeah, yeah these two cameras start and stop for at, at the 30 minute mark. That's how we've been dealing it for wedding ceremonies. If not, Atomos recorder will be your best bet. Or you can pick up a 6300 that has, still has the ability to get the record limit option out there. Just a thought. Um, but I don't, I, I can't use my A7R3 or A9 for long form recording anymore. So, yeah. Uh, there, there is a rumor, uh, Kwaku, as far as uh, maybe in the future that it, it might expire where there's that requirement for 29 minutes and 59 seconds, that tax that gets applied. I, there's some talk that it might end soon. And then maybe there's a firmware that will be released that will unlock these cameras, but that's kind of a long shot. All right, so moving on. So Jason, I was asking earlier, do you have the boom arm that comes with the Rode NT-USB, that's this thing? Do you have that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, so I was recording some stuff. Okay, I was recording a video that I was working on for school work and stuff, and it broke. It, it just snapped off. What? Yeah, it just it just snapped off, and it fell off. I was so sad. So sad inside, and I was just. And the thing is, I can't. I can't use it for anywhere. I can't use the 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 lower level one, the one that just has like the the weird feet. I can't use that weird, right here. <laughs> exactly that. So I just kind of have it chilling. So the audio sounds really weird, kind of echoey. It's because I'm. It's farther away. So, but guess what? As you know, Road is pretty cool. I messaged them. They got back to me. They're gonna send me some parts over to take care of this problem right here. So. Um, I don't know. For those of you that own road stuff, whenever I've had issues, I shoot them an email. They get back to me in a timely manner, and they usually take care of the problem. So, road sponsor the video. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have another super chat donation, Danny. It's funny. I was like, yeah, I do a podcast on Mondays. If you could hurry and get, they didn't, apparently didn't get it to me on time, but I was like, if you could get it to me by Monday, that'd be great. So. That's all I'm saying, Road. Come on. Boom. Come on. Man, I don't know. Maybe I was, you know what was said? I was looking at Shure just a little while ago. I was like, maybe I might look at a different brand. <laughs> Cause I was so I was so mad about this. <laughs> uh, it. But it's been good. It's been good. All right. Okay. We got another super chat, man. Thank you. Let's see. Let's check it out right now. Travis Morrison Mikkel. Question. My friend is trying to do a video podcast but his computer is slow and he can't record the webcab footage locally and use Hangouts for the podcast at the same time. Any ideas? Thanks. There's a description in the link for an Arrow 15X. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm just kidding, okay? What you need to do, I really think you need a quad-core CPU. So you got to make sure that the laptop that, this, uh, that your friend has, at, uh, check and see if they have at least a quad-core CPU because you want the Intel QuickSync, like the newer version of the CPU that's out there. Um, and then if it has a discrete GPU, that's also a plus. So check with your friend. It might be just your laptop needs like the quad core processor. Cause I'm running this live stream right now on a laptop as well. And, but this is, mine's pretty beefy. So it's a quad core CPU and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, hopefully that helps you out. All right. Nice. All right. I'm not going to talk about that one there. Um, just some really quick topics, guys. Really quick, just if you didn't know, there are third-party NPs, uh, NPFZ100 batteries popping up. I saw this posted in Sony Alpha Immerse. I don't know if I'm going to get any of those at this time. I'm, I think I'm just going to stick with the native ones for now because they do so well already. But um, 
may check it out just to just for info, info wise. And also, Jason, did you see this? The Lightroom now supports pixel shift images. What the oh, heck? Wow. Oh wow. So it's native now. So I have I haven't shot anything with pixel shift, but neither have um, I. Yeah. Just just That's a cool. thought, man. Has but anyone I, here I, has anyone here done any pixel shifting with the Sony A7R3? Let us know your experience with it. I mean, I'm I'm curious. I mean, I don't shoot too much architecture to to even try it, but I'm curious to to see what the experience is like using the um, pixel shift. Okay, they're saying just the ARQ file. So, like I said, I've never used it. So, does that mean that it'll take your four files and use them together, or it will give you one whole file at the end? Like you can work with the one whole file. So, if anyone's tried it, would love to know. Yes. Another super chat donation. Oh, wow. Jay San tethered capture with the o Sony A7 Mark III possible needed for school portrait jobs. Um, Danny, he shoot. Uh, can you, you hear me? Am I? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You froze yeah, for also, a little bit. I got, I got scared. Yeah. And Jason, just let me know if anything weird happens. All right. So <laughs> a friend of mine, he does like uh, like uh, volume photography, like high volume photography stuff. And he was looking up software too because he was looking at getting a gig as a, doing school portraits. But I, I don't know if a Capture One has the ability to set the capture because Lightroom doesn't do it. I'm guessing Capture One does. But I think you need like another, there's like another alternate program to Lightroom. I think it's called Darkroom. There's like, there's like another program. Um, check, I think it's called Darkroom. Check it out. I think it's designed for, for, for like these types of situations, but you usually got to pay some money to get these kind of software because obviously when the kid comes in, takes a picture, there's like the barcode, you got to scan and all this stuff. Uh, and I think like, like there's some Nikon cameras, like the Nikon, Nikon and Canon that have like a barcode scanning capability with their, with their cameras, something like that. But I don't know if Sony ever did something like that. So sorry, Jason, that's the best I can do as far as info goes. All right, Jason, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into the A7 Mark III. So folks, if you have any questions or thoughts about the A7 III you wanna just drop in, I I haven't had a whole lot of time with it yet. I haven't even fully customized my A7 III. Jason, have you had, have you even had a chance to like map everything out for yourself already? I'm assuming you have, right? I, I mean, I mapped it out the way that I have it for my A7R III, so when I was bouncing back and forth, it'd be easier, but I do need to make some minor adjustments to all of my settings, but for the most part, it is, configured to the way that I'm used to shooting on my A7R3. I haven't even had time. I haven't even set up my quick function options yet. I just, I just like did a couple buttons and uh, yeah, but I'm definitely going to go through and get it all customized. But Jason, Tommy, like so far, how is the A7 III? You own the A7R3. Do you feel like if you, you close your eyes and you grab either or how would you feel going out into the field at this point? Both, both are very solid. I mean, like, obviously the quality on the a7 III is a little bit better. The video quality, that is. Video quality is definitely at least, uh, the a7 III does have the upper hand. But here's a, here's a shocking thing for me when I was using the a7 III out in Mexico. Um, when I was hand holding the camera, it was a little shaky, just, just a little bit. I mean, like, you can tell. You can tell it's a little shake in there. And that's because my Sony tech rep told me that the... Um, Sony a7 III have five axes in body image stabilization versus 5.5 oh. on the <laughs> a7R three. So okay. I was like, dude, that half a stop of difference makes that much difference when it comes to hand holding the camera. That is insane. Cause um, my a7R three, I'm so used to it being my running gun camera, you know, like I'm, I'm hand holding at weddings and I'm getting some really solid, you know, steady yeah. footage with it. But with the a7 III, like, I guess I got to be a little bit more steadier with my hands with that camera, but uh, just trying to shoot with it, like how I shoot with my A7R three hand holding it, there is a slight shake to it, but yeah. not the biggest deal. So that would be like the one little thing that I'd say oh. that differs the camp, the, the two cameras in terms of doing any sort of video shooting. J but, Jason, uh, I want to, I want to just yeah. check in with you real quick. So was that yeah. because you were, use, were you using the 16 to 35 G master without the stabilization? I, I guess it doesn't, have, it doesn't have stabilization so that you were noticing right. it with that one. Right. Yeah. Well, mo most of my lenses that I shoot don't have in body image. I mean, sorry, doesn't have the optical steady shot 55, 85, 18. Yeah. I mean, like I, I see it definitely with the 55 when I was shooting. That's what's something that I noticed when I play, when I was playing back the footage at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of being a little extra cautious with the a seven three. So. 
Yeah. Um, 5.5 makes a difference. Wow. That's I know, right? It's it's insane. It's like, wow, half a stop of difference makes that much of a difference? That's crazy. So just something to, to bear in mind a little bit. Like um, that 5.5, I had I actually had no idea the A7R3 was 5.5. Yeah, that is. And the fact that you're mentioning that really makes me think about it because, I mean, you definitely know, you're definitely shooting video a lot. So you're going to pick that up a hell of a lot faster than me because I just shoot photos. But mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, that's that's a great point, man. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Right. So, so then de and definitely the low light, Ooh, the low light, the a7 three, what is what everybody, any reviewers on YouTube have already been saying the low light on the a7 three is absolutely fantastic shooting, uh, 3,200 ISO, 6,400 ISO photos. I didn't see any sort of grain. I didn't see any sort of noise. The sky looks pitch black. And then I went to shoot with my a7 R three and <laughs> 3,200 ISO, 6,400 ISO, man, yeah. those noise are amplified. So it's a, uh, it's definitely more apparent on the JPEG. If you're working with the raw files, you can definitely fix some of those grains and noise on the a7 R three files, but straight out of the camera, a7 three, that, that low light performance though, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty sick. Definitely enjoyed it a lot. Nice. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to do a little more video with the a7 mark three, but I don't do anything like as, as crafty as Jason does with his things. And, <laughs> and I, and, uh, you know, I just shoot like sports photography lately, event photography. So I had the chance to go ahead and use the, uh, the Sony a7 three. I shot, uh, some, a little bit of tennis, a school play for about two hours or so. And then just this past, just today, just a little while ago, I went and shot some softball because I wanted to find out how well the A7III's autofocusing system is. And uh, Jason, I don't know if you noticed it already, but it is it is good. It it's is good. It is good. It is as three good as the up. A9. Uh, three okay. thumbs up. Okay, okay, so. The A9. All right. I, I can't say for sure. My gut feeling tells me that the A9 will still have the advantage in really low light scenarios. I still have to test it there, but in terms, okay, let's say I had the a7 III, the a7 R3 and the a9, and we were shooting like daytime stuff. They'd all have the same performance capabilities. Like that's, that's where it was at. So I've shot softball with the a9, the a7 R3, and now just with the a7 III, they all perform really well. I felt the a7 III performed a little bit better than the a7 R3, that the impression I got was just a hair better, but not probably not by much at all. It, it's not even scientific in, in that case. It's just sort of my impression. But I would say once the light goes down, I think the A9 will still have the slight edge over the A7 Mark III. But um, that's the way I'm looking at it right now. But for me, let's just say, let's put it this way. I have the A9, A7 R3. What I'm shooting, my confidence level with the A7 III is very good. I don't, I don't feel like I'm going into a scenario where I'm going to struggle. When I was shooting the school play, I was using, I wasn't using my 7200 F2.8. I was using the 100 to 400. Uh, shooting at 5.6, and I was between ISOs like 4,000 and even up to 51,200. Whoa. Now, yeah. Now, obviously, when there was no light on, and I'll have a video on this soon, uh, when there was no light on the cast member, yeah, the camera struggled. Both the A7R3 and the A7 III struggled. Like, that's normal. Like, there's no light on the subject. But when there was just a hint of light, it found the subject. Uh, and then you were talking about high ISO performance, man. I shot like 12,800, 25,600. Oh. I was very happy with the results. Like I have very low standards. <laughs> <laughs> low standards. <laughs> I have, my standards are right here. Okay. They are on the floor. What's important to me is that I captured the moment, but when I looked at it combined, and this is something I want to talk about too, combined with this lens being so sharp, even though it was grainy, it was sharp. Like the, the image itself looked really crispy still, even with the noise and noise doesn't really bother me much at all. But again, that's just me and the way my files get outputted and where it goes. So again, very happy overall with the camera. And I think something that uh, I think a lot of you are going to want to go towards. And I think uh, my gut feeling tells me that a lot of folks who got the a seven three are kind of trying to get Sony lenses. I highly recommend you try and get some native glass and really good native glass to take advantage of that sensor on the A7 yeah. Mark III. That's, oh, definitely. it's a given, so. Yeah.
Yeah, I, 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 I would say I don't normally try to push my cameras to 6400. I mean, like, even though I've heard stories about, you know, A7R2 being not pretty decent with 12,800, I shot a few photos to be with it. I didn't really like the results, but shooting 12,800 on a Sony A7 III, I'm just like, this is not bad. This is actually still pretty usable. I mean, like, yeah, it's a little, it's a little mushy, but A7R2, I remember back shooting 12,800 with that camera. I'm just like, no. This is this is this is this is awful. I can't I can't yeah. use this. But twelve thousand eight hundred on A seven three though. I'm just like this is this is good. This is this is I like this. I enjoy this. <laughs> hey, uh, guess what? SR six is has arrived. So SR six <laughs> dropping that ten dollar <laughs> super chat donation. What is going on, Chris Bar? What's your name, Chris Bar? SR six. <laughs> Shift your handle. Uh, he says, just got here, loving the A7 Mark III, but coming from the Alpha 6500, I need to get used to relearning focal distances. Keep up doing the great show, guys. SR6, greatly appreciate. I mean, Chris Barr. <laughs> Chris SR6 Barr. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm just really happy, Jason, that the excitement we had for this camera when, we, when the announcement dropped and we did our live stream to what the yes. camera is now. I'm very happy it lived up to a lot of the, to the criticisms that it had. Um, I'm just, I'm really happy it did. Now, I don't know if anyone else is having issues with their cameras or anything like that, but so far everything has been going okay. Um, yeah. Still gonna be shooting with it a lot more, but right now still, still good. I just think the modal is chintzy, but that's just, <laughs> it's like when you look at it, it's like, it's like, man, this you kind of, yeah. Obviously, they cheaped out on some things because of just this pricing. But it's not bad. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. So I, I, I thoroughly enjoy this. And, and um, I don't know. Is, is this is this a taboo topic to talk about overheating? Oh, talk I mean, a little bit about that. I haven't had issues yet. So um, I no mean, issues. No, no issues issue. for me as well. Um, shot a wedding, forty-five minutes out in the hot sun, mid eighties, direct high noon sunlight. This camera survive no overheating indicator whatsoever i did an instagram story on this so you guys saw it straight up 30 minute recording 45 minute recording 45 minutes out in the hot sun survive no issue at all but i did have the auto power temp set to high so mm -hmm. that is something that gotcha. you guys need to do if you guys do any sort of long form recording or anywhere that's fairly warm so keep that um keep that feature set on high you know, it's crazy, man. This weather has kind of been kind of bipolar a little bit. It's been warm, then cool. Mm -hmm. I think this hot weather is trying to avoid me, Jason. Just letting you know. I mean, <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right, good time to release the Sony a7 III. It's going to be cool in California. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but no, but no, seriously, though, I, I was out in Mexico. Humid. It's super humid out there. It's also like in the 80s. And we're out there shooting three to four hours a day, every day, high noon camera never overheated now i did borrow that camera from sony so i was like yeah oh, maybe you know maybe but <laughs> on my own unit it, it survived it did the same it, it it didn't show any sort of any sort of overheating indicator so a7 III, pretty solid like it a lot no, that's that's good news that's very good news yeah. um I'll, I'll 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 wait a little bit longer i'm waiting till it gets really warm in my area uh i'll shoot some more then but <laughs> Like I said, I think as long as you fall at this point, like I, I'm, I'm fine with knowing that it can. It's just more about just being cautious about direct sunlight for too long, especially mm -hmm. when it hits like a hundred here where I'm at. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's that's the situation. So, yeah. All right. What are cool. those of you with your A7 III? Let us know what's been like for you. Are you enjoying it? Is it not living up to your expectations? Is it living up to your expectations? Do you hate me and Jason Bong now? Or what? what is that that's, that you guys are getting from that? All right. I bought this camera because you guys and it stinks. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Anything in here? By the way, if you guys have the Sony A7 III, give this video a like. If you don't have the A7 III, <laughs> give this video two dislikes. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how Zed Pro says that with so much confidence without someone just having two accounts and just disliking it. <laughs> Zed Pro Media, we gotta get you on here so you can say it. That is that we is might, your that is your tagline right there. Is it is it a secret with what, what, what might happen later? So we don't want to say anything yet. That's secret, probably. 
Oh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, about, but probably. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, okay. Well, we won't say anything about that. All right. <laughs> B Rich is selling. It says the A7 III is amazing. I'm selling my GH5 and my 5D Mark something for, I'm assuming. Uh, did you scroll all the way up? Because I don't, I don't know. I was near Chris Barr's. Uh, uh, okay, got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Where are we at? What are we doing now, Danny? Um, I think that's we're kind of rolled out. That's that's about the main stuff. We're kind of at the okay. Q and A end Q &A. of things. We'll, yeah, Hashtag we'll just roll it out. Ask us mm -hmm. all your burning questions. Hashtag yeah. Q A. Eighty eight. Nick is asking, how are the shadows at high ASA or I guess high ISOs? I'm guessing the shadows on the camera. ASA. Uh, is, is that, that a geometry ISA? term? You're thinking angle side angle? Side, or side. Angle side angle, ang side angle side. Okay. <laughs> angle side I, side. I don't know. What I, is I, I think it's a, like another term for ISO or <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't really pushed the shadows um, too much. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Carlos Salazar selling his Mark IV. Um, Pilar Lopez says, so the guy, so this person that does travel videos, I guess, they're saying he had a lot of focus hunting with his A7 III. So was that in photos or video? Can someone chime in? Um, yeah. Was it photo or video? Because if it's photos, the, the, the thing that I can think of right now is the autofocus, uh, one of the autofocus speed settings, because I had my set to five before, and that focus hunted like crazy, especially when I'm trying to do any sort of portraits. So I did have to tone that down for it to like, grab focus normally so that that be the only thing i can think of right now all right uh nevac says is there any reason to get the sony a7 III in addition to the a7r3 other than a cheaper backup option is the low eye performance that much better yes yes <laughs> i i think it's a good secondary option if you're doing event stuff and you need a second camera I, I think yeah, that just I'm, works perfectly. Absolutely. If you're doing weddings, A7R3 can be it's gonna be a great portrait camera for your portrait, um, for your portrait session with the couples. And then for for everything else, it's like A7 III will be a great sort of like moment <laughs> stuff, you know, ceremonies, um, perhaps all that stuff. So Zed Pro's on? in Zed Pro's in the house, he said. <laughs> Zed Pro oh. says he says it as a joke, but some people take it serious. Zed Pro, people actually like just thumbed down twice with two different accounts, man. That's, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Let's see. It really makes you think with GPU's reach. What is going on? People are using it for video. They're they're mentioning video, so a lot of folks are using video. Um. Dr. Exclusive is asking, Rokinon slash Samyang, should it get the 85 1.4 and the Sony a7 III? I don't know. I don't have any experience with that lens. I, I don't personally. I'm assuming it's still the manual focus one. I don't know if they ever had like a an autofocus version of it. But if it's the autofocus version of it, I, I haven't used it myself. 8518. 8518. Get that. Yeah, if, if you can get the 8518, I would, I would go that route. Um, Cassiano SD, what was the brand and price of the third party battery again? Um, I think it was just, it was posted on Sony off rumors. There wasn't a specific brand. Like I didn't catch the actual brand. I didn't write it down, but you can definitely find the post on Sony off rumors. All right. Tag the shooters asking, do you think your, your 24 to 70 G master is sharp? Argue with the guy saying the 24 to 70 G master was good and was not sharp. I said he was crazy. Mine was sharp and replaced primes on run and gun events. It's sharp. It's a sharp lens. I, I can say just in general usage, it was sharper than the 2470 F4 that I have now. Oh! <laughs> my F4 is just... I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, get, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's just my my copy that's just like really off. Get rid of it. Get the 24 to 105, Danny. Do yourself a favor. I'll just go to the 2470 G Master at that point. Uh, nice. All right, um, Espiritu uh, Q and A. Your take on a flash for portraits on the A seven R two was looking uh, Sony HVL F sixty M or RM, but maybe better bang for buck on another product. Maybe Godox. Your thoughts? Godox, Godox, go Godox. Yeah, go Godox is the way to get go. the Godox. Check out my guide, uh, Flashpoint guide for Sony alpha cameras. <laughs> 
Jason Vaughn, type it in. <laughs> uh, Tree Kwong Dao, Q&A, best standard zoom lens for the a7 III, especially for low light. 2470 G Master, F2.8. I, G Master. That's, that's the only one that's standard that's going to get you really good low light. Yeah. Uh, Chris Ortiz, with the ISO capabilities, uh, makes me contemplate the 200 F4 a bit little a little, a little bit more for sports and save a grand over 2.8. Heard the bulkhead isn't that big of a difference, Danny. One, which one? Sorry. For the Are you saying like should he should he consider the 200 F4 and just save a grand 2. over 2.8? It's just low light. You're you're just getting the bang for buck on the low light when you need that extra stop. Like I, if I knew if I was shooting daytime, I would just pull the seventy two hundred f four. It wouldn't it wouldn't even cross my mind to be a lighter lens to carry with me. Uh, it's just an issue of light. I mean, I mean, at that point, if you're shooting sports, like does bokeh matter that much, Danny? It, I I don't think it would. I mean, I shoot with the one hundred four hundred, and that's at five six. Mm -hmm. um, but I love I just love the compression it creates. And yeah. I'm and I'm happy with it. So, cool. um, yeah. Q and A. Zed Pro is asking. Been rocking the A7 III for a couple of days, mostly photography. Shot 120 FPS at S and Q to 24p. Is the quality better just shooting in one? Jason's a good person for this. 120p versus S and Q. Okay. So, so um, I I spoke with uh, uh, my Sony tech rep Eric, and he said um, on paper shooting 120p would be better than shooting an S and Q. So I need to, I actually still need to dissect my footage to see if it's, if, if I can see any sort of difference, but for the most part on paper, shooting 120p versus shooting S and Q, it's going to be better. There you go. You heard yeah. it from Jason. All right. Jason Q and A. Does Jason tell Sony he knows Danny or quickly change the subject when his name comes up? Hey, so about that guy? Oh, what what guy? I, I don't know. Danny, Next, what? Who's 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 that guy? Next question. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, they know. They know. We know. They know. I know Danny. They know. I know Danny. And and they know I I exist. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> very yes, they know I exist. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay, Kenneth is uh, talking about the Maddie video. He says. He started to review the a7 III. His focus kept hunting on some occasion. The guy is a Canon user. Have you watched his channel? He is AKA Travel Fields. Maybe I bumped into a bit. I I I haven't really seen seen I it. I don't. But. I don't watch him much. I know he's good friends with Peter McKinnon. So, hmm. Yeah, Maddie. Yeah, I, like I said, it, you really have to know how the settings work before you can make a, a full determination on it. But. Um, if you just jump in between brands, it might be really hard to do. Uh, Rai Uemura, do you have a recommendation for a dual FZ100 battery charger? Well, you are in luck because I have one here from Numoa, and it charges the FZ ones, and I use that. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to pick one up. <laughs> it comes in handy. It's really nice. Not that I need it because I don't need to charge any. I, I don't need to charge any of my mm. five batteries. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. Danny. Uh, Danny. Danny. Oh, Should man, I wait. talking to. <laughs> yeah, Danny. Danny, go ahead. <laughs> What's your question, Danny? Danny. <laughs> Danny knows asking, should we wait for the Tamron 28 to 75? Yes. I don't know if there's any been an update on when it might arrive, but. um. Who knows? I mean, you're looking if you're looking for that zoom range at a 2.8, just wait for it. If the G Master is too expensive, so just wait for it. Um, in the yeah. meantime, get yourself some solid prime lenses because those are those are handy. H Zone's asking, how is the on and off switch compared to the Alpha 6500? I feel the A7 II switch is a bit soft or soft. Is that normal? Are you asking about the A7 II or A7 III? It's kind of soft on the A7 III, but it's not like a bad thing. Like I don't, Jason, is this normal? It's just, it's fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a little soft, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. Let me turn off my A7 R3 right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say my 6500 is uh, sort of what's filming right now, so I can't really turn that off. 
I feel like the grip on the A7R3 is nicer than the the grip material on the A7 II, but I'm just like I'm just trying to find something to nitpick. I feel like it's more textured on the A7R3, like a little more textured. But that's just yeah, me being. <laughs> yeah, I just I just want I, yeah I do want to say that it does. I don't know. Yeah, it does feel like a little different, but I just can't put my hand on it. Yeah. It might be minor. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, yeah. So as long as you've never owned the A7R3, don't mind us at all. Just enjoy yeah. your A7 III. Yeah, there's no issues with it. Let's see. <laughs> what the heck is going on? John Louis Imperial is asking, when does the Vong Thongs go on sale? Is that something you guys talked about last time? <laughs> 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 guys, come on. Whatever we talked uh, about in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> New merch coming out. Oh shoot! Um, Ninety nine. Get your Hong Kongs. Oh boy, that's gonna that's gonna follow us for the rest of all Monday lives. Gerald Williams is saying the uh, the AS the ASA was for film rated speed, so it's basically similar. It's either ASA or ISS, but it's pretty much the same. Going cool. Zebro Media says, that's what I thought. I wasn't impressed with 120p S and Q to 24. Okay. Try Kwong Dao Q and A 55 1.8 or the 85 1.8 for portraits. I'm an 85 1.8 biased person. So I'm a biased towards 85 for portraits on full frame. Sorry, I gotta say, was I as bad as 135? All right. <laughs> <laughs> 85 1.8 for sure. 85 1.8 for I'm sure. I'm telling you, I'm still waiting for the sell that. Okay, moving on. It's <laughs> yeah, sell that lens, man. It's a sweet lens, dude. <laughs> Uh, he's Chris Barr is saying the on and off switch is the same, I think, as the 6500. He's on both, he can't tell a difference at all. If he's SR6, I'm going to go with what Chris Barr has said. Okay, I just feel like now that's been pointed out, I'm just gonna be like super conscious about it. I'm just like, hmm, well, maybe. But when you're shooting with it, okay, here's the thing when I was shooting with the A7 III, I, it, it didn't even cross my mind if I had an A7R3 in my hands or not, it was literally the same camera. It's like yeah. once you're using it and you're shooting with it, it's not even in it's like nothing. I don't oh yeah, about it. no. I mean, like yeah, same thing. Shooting weddings, shooting videos with it. It's only it's only the fact that I know I'm like <laughs> I'm using it to get materials for the review that I know I'm using the A7 III. But for the most part, it's it feels very similar. Tag the shooter says, "Why didn't you get the Sony battery adapter to charge all four batteries?" That little battery pack that has that that holds like four Sony batteries. I'm just not in the market for one right now. Tag. Um, yeah. I also don't have like four hundred dollars to drop on that. <laughs> it's nothing uh, like crazy expensive. I think it was just, like a sale going for it. It comes with. I think it comes with two batteries. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. So you get like two batteries. But um, yeah, I just uh, I don't have a major need for for one of those. And what I'm doing now uh, works so far. Um, Ryan Ryan three O wants uh, everybody to drop some dough right now for anybody with B and H education discount. There's some pretty good savings on the G Master lenses. Danny, twenty four to seventy. Let's do it. Uh, you know, <laughs> did, I I contacted B and H already about this the A seven Mark three because I bought the A seven three without the EDU discount, but there's like a two hundred dollars off with the EDU discount. So Woo! we'll see if they we'll see if they give it to me. I don't know what'll happen. Um. But yeah, G Master lenses are always had that that EDU discount, except like it, it, this one did not have it. it. This one did not have a discount. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that is a shame. Let's see. Uh, La Ellie Malay Malay, do you guys have any recommendations for a RAID storage solution that's not expensive? I'm looking for at least eight terabytes. What do you guys use? I have been looking at Lis Lacy and WD. Woo. Hey man, I I don't know. I I, I use I use th I have three Drobos, and they all work fine for me. Never had problems, but some people do. So, but I use Windows. But yeah, I have three Drobos now. So, Jason, what do you? You got the QNAP, right? I got the QNAP. It works. It's odd for me, but if you want to save some money, um, WD. I think they, they do sell like eight terabyte rate rate storage, right? Yeah, I think you can just get the unit. It already comes, yeah, two eight terabyte drives, and it's just one yeah. small package unit. I think that might be the way to go. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just like the Drobo because I can mix and match drives um, and not worry about it. That's the reason why I go with it, and it's just like boom, 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 pop the drives in, and don't think about it too much. Uh, Doctor exclusive. Hey guys, we're gonna probably do another five minutes or so Q and A, so we're gonna try to speed through it again. As Jason mentioned. 
Um, don't forget to drop a like if you've been enjoying the stream. And again, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. All right, Q and A essential doctor exclusive: three essential lenses on a budget A7 Mark III. I have some in my mind, Jason. What would you get? What would you say? Eighty-five one eight. <laughs> I don't know. Did any name 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 a few? Let me let me think about it. Okay, I'm gonna do. If you want to save money, if you are on a big time budget, the Rokinon 35 2.8. I like mine, and it's pretty inexpensive. The 85 1.8 8 that Jason's talking about, and there also you if you need a zoom lens, just toss in the 70 200 f4. That's yeah. why I would say. So you got a wide, you got a telly, and then you got super telly. Like you got some some range. If right. um, prime, if you want to, yeah, I think that's kind of, that's how I would approach it. It just depends on your, it depends on what you do. That's, it always boils down to that. What do you do? Because Jason would probably say other stuff. I'm just going to go with yours, man. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's hard. It, it's really hard because if you're on a budget, you're tight on that budget. That's what it really makes it hard. But I think if you wait for the 28 to 75, it might swoop in a few of those lenses that you're worried about. Because if you get to 28 to 75, It'll cover, it'll cover like the thirty-five and the eighty-five, for the most yeah. part. You All know, right. I was uh, I was hanging out with uh, Scott Robert Lim, Sony Artisan in Mexico, and he was shooting with the the fifty, um, the really cheapy one, the really cheap fifty lens. Uh, uh -huh. I think Kai reviewed it. I forgot what it's called. Um, is it a prime? Is it like it's a, 50, uh, it's a fifty prime? It's like a f one point one. Was it? Is it a cam lens? Is it the cam lens? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the the Cumlin lens or something like yeah. that. And uh, Scott loved loved it. it. He says it's it's not bad. Um, it's a bit of vignetting, um, but for the most part, it's a pretty sharp lens. It's really cheap. It's like one hundred fifty, almost two hundred dollars. So it's a really cheap, um, uh, uh, fifty prime lens. It's not autofocus though, but for yeah. what it is, it's not bad from what he's saying. I have the I have that lens. I haven't taken it out in a while, but oh really? It's it's it, sharpness wise. Uh, if you're if you're if you're crazy about sharpness, you're obviously not wide open. Obviously, yeah, that's what I would say. Cool, but it has really cool facts. I really dig that. Um, Chang Su says he contacted B and H and got the ten percent discount adjustment, but my camera got back ordered. Okay, so I'm hopeful that I can get the discount. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Chang oh, Suit. Yeah, no, dude. That's my greatest fear. It's like, should I call and <laughs> get bumped back? Or oh my goodness. Oh no, no. I think uh oh oh shoot. Is he saying that he pre-ordered and got went and asked for the EDU discount and sent him to the back of the line? Is that kind of what happened? Hmm. So I guess oh, what if I already have the camera? Do they want me to send it back? I mean, I don't think so. I think they'll just do a price adjustment for you, unless I, they're I, unless they're marked differently for whatever reason. I I hope they do a price adjustment. We'll see. It's fine if they don't, but that would suck. I could use I could save an extra two hundred bucks. I'd appreciate it. To be All continued. Right. <laughs> wow, I think that's gonna do it this evening, Jason. I think yeah. that's guys. Ooh. Thank. Yeah. What an awesome what an awesome show, guys. I know we've been yeah. gone for like two <laughs> weeks. Well, Danny's been gone for two weeks. Well, actually, no, not really. It's just more we we, it's yeah. just more we haven't had a show together. That's that was a thing. Yeah. In two weeks, and there's still like a hundred sixty some of you guys watching. You guys have been fantastic. And I was just telling Danny the other day, I'm just like, you know what? We're pretty blessed having this live show going yeah. every Monday. You know, Danny forced me to to, to, to keep doing this. So <laughs> hats off to him. But damn. 150 some people watching you guys are freaking awesome man we love you yeah. guys so much absolutely it is um and we'll just we'll, you know we'll keep trying to make it happen um no. as long as you guys are coming back so i'm kind of bummed we only have like five episodes left <laughs> i'm just kidding we, we, dude I'm you're just not supposed kidding. to tell them that man you do not say anything about that <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna say no it's been fun so next week it's gonna be <laughs> Now we're just confusing. They're like, what the hell's happening on the show? <laughs> next next week, it's going to be on my shows, uh, on my channel. So um, tune in, 7 p.m. next week. Um, and for those of you guys who came in late, Danny's going to have some show notes um, with the yep. time codes and everything. So just rewatch it. It's been a great show. And uh, what else is there, Danny? What, uh, how do you sign? All for? right. So, um, oh, yeah, before we take off. So. I, I am gonna get back into the group of videos. I got I got some stuff. I'll be in. I'm gonna be in Ontario, 
not Canada, not not that Canada. Um, <laughs> but I'll be I'll be in Ontario uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I c- competition event with my students are competing in, so I'm going to be out there. Uh, try to probably work on some reviews and then also do a review on that Aero 15X that I'm going to get Jason into bu- buying. Um, Damn it! But uh, but yeah, I, I a lot of the stuff that I was dealing with at school that was really <laughs> busy, like I. I just been super stressed out, man. I, even my students would do that already. Like I would tell them, I'm stressed. Address, Mr. Sabe, how are you doing today? Stressed out. <laughs> so stress uh, level yeah, high. Are, stress level high. Expectations zero. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> low standards. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I I feeling that that hill that I had to climb is almost over. So uh, it'll start smoothing out again. And feel more relaxed and uh, getting some more videos out for you guys. Because, again, you guys definitely make all this happen. So, thank you again. Jason, anything on the horizon for you to can expect? Um, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, I am going to Sony Condo. Okay, nice. There we go. Finally getting some exclusives on some new Sony products. Going to Sony Condo. So, um, if you guys don't know Sony Condo, uh, how would you even describe Sony Condo? Uh, I thought it was more like a workshop style type of event. Folks go it's, out to it, work with other uh, photographers, videographers. Exactly. exactly. And then they're, they're going to get some Sony artisans, Sony collectives, and as well as a few YouTube press people out there. So we're going to be out there doing a little bit, little bit of coverage. So we'll see. We'll nice. see what's coming out. We're going we're gonna to get the inside scoop here. That's perfect. Yes. That's <laughs> Sony A7S3. That's in, uh, that's in Danny's uh, Sony truck, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. that out. Jason, they've all forgotten about that already at this point. You don't gotta keep reminding them. <laughs> it's just old stuff. I really awesome. wonder if someone internally at Sony gets really frustrated when that when we bring that intro up. Like, ah. uh, it, I would feel bad too. Like somebody lost the truck and then they lost their job or something like that. Oh, that's true. <laughs> all right, the end. The end. That's gonna do it for us, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll catch you later. Peace. Peace.